It says it's just an AI learner, it's not a therapist. <laughs> so I was thinking of it some kind of therapist and asking it to help my problems. Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. In this video, we're gonna be creating Sudoku puzzles using ChatGPT and Canva. So let me go ahead and show you my search tool for Etsy because uh, Sudoku puzzle printables are selling very good on Etsy. And I actually have a search tool called Sell Samurai that shows you the results. So let me go ahead and share my screen and then I'll show you Sell Samurai. So let's go ahead and share it. So this is Sell Samurai. And what I did was I searched for printable and then one of the top printables on Etsy are Sudoku printables. And, um, and this is how, how the stats are. So there's a very high search volume. And even Google most trending Sudoku puzzles get a search volume of 49,500. And there's low competition. So if you make some Sudoku printables, you know, you, you can actually, you know, get lots of traffic if you put them on your website as like a free opt-in. Or even you could sell the free, the printables, you know, or you could sell, for, or you can just give them for free. So let's go ahead and go into Canva. So this is Canva. And what I did was I created a new design. I created a US letter. And I just been playing around and I was able to make these puzzles using ChatGPT. So I'll show you what I did here. So let's uh, make a copy. And so right here is the, I made a grid. So you'll get to a grid using, um, using the grid tool. So let's um, delete that. And then now what we're left are these lines and I'll delete the lines too to show you what I, all I did. And this is the puzzle itself. So the way I got this was I went to chat GPT and I typed in create numbers in blanks for a nine by nine Sudoku puzzles with numbers from one through nine for kids. So I'm going to do that again. And then we'll get another puzzle. So now it's generating the puzzle for me. And Sudoku puzzles are really fun. Like I actually like to do Sudoku puzzles myself. Like I'll, I'll get like um, like a People magazine. They have them in there. And there's also in the newspaper. And it's really fun. So let me go ahead and uh, give the sol solution. So that way I'll give the solution to the puzzle that they just generated. And I use ChatGPT so much. Look, at all I've used ChatGPT. I think of it as like a friend. I'm always talking to it. Like um, I had a problem with, with somebody harassing me. So I said, how do you uh, overcome harassment and difficult people? And it actually gave me some answers and it told, told me that it wasn't a therapist, you know? So it was so funny, you know? It, um, and I think that's hilarious. It said, it's just an AI learner. It's not a therapist. <laughs> so I was thinking of it some kind of therapist and asking it to help my problems, you know? And, so look, as you can see, it made the solution. So we're gonna go ahead and copy code and I'm going to go in here and this is solution number two. And I'll tell you what I set this up as it took a while to figure it out. But let me go ahead and paste. And what I have it set up is Roboto Mono and Mono Font, if you search for Mono Font, then mono font has the same width of all the characters and it's really useful for coding because I'm actually a, a web developer and I, and I was doing it for like over 20 years. But now I sell printables full time and I earn multiple six figures selling printables. But I was a web developer so I'm used to this code. It's just, it's like, it's like spaced all, spaced equally for everybody and for all the numbers. So now it, it made the puzzle and now we could, um, make a duplicate. So let's put this n number one back up here and let's duplicate this. And this is the solution. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go solution. So this is the puzzle. And the way I got this was I used Roboto Mono. You can do whatever size. I actually did spacing. I did negative eight letter spacing. And then the line spacing I did 2.21. Like that's the line spacing because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a grid. So I'm going to go to elements and then over here there's tables and I'm going to create the table and I'm going to give this table, I'm going to give it nine by nine. So I'm going to keep adding columns until I get nine. So one, two, probably easier to see if I move this out of the way. So now we got, well, I got six. So I'm going to keep, you know, adding columns until I get nine. So now we got seven and then eight. 
and nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because Sudoku puzzles have like nine by nine, but you can also give it more if you want. So let me go ahead and select this table again and then increase the row. So now I'm going to add row, add nine rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I'm going to put this back and I'm going to grab the table and stretch it. And now I'm going to click this. I'm going to go um, size rows equally. Then I'm going to go here and size columns equally. Then you just keep playing with it until it fits around the letters, like stretch it out. And then go to, you know, size rows equally. And size columns equally. So just keep playing with it until it does what you want. You can move it over a little bit. And then what we can do next is I select this and I go, I put this position to back. Now I have the numbers at the top. And now I'm going to go to um, File, Find and Replace Text. And we're going to, uh, first, we're going to find this, this underscore. So what I did was uh, I had it find an underscore. And then what I did was just press um, space bar to give a space. I'm going to replace, we're, we're going to replace all. And now I want it to find this. And I just want it to do a space. So again, I'm just going to type a space with my space bar and then re replace all. So now everybody's gone and now I'm left with the numbers in the puzzle and I could just arrange it so all the numbers are fitting within the puzzle. And then I go about going to elements and I use this line here and I split it up into um, three by three. So I hold down shift to make a straight line and I go to um, alt and do it again just to get, make it easier to, to do and then go here and then go down here like line this up and then press um, I'm pressing alt when I'm on a Mac yeah so now we have our puzzle done and we can go ahead and copy this and go down to the solution let's get rid of this and go to command V and now we can go back to chat GPT and we can copy our solution and go back and just um, select all the text to just like highlight all the text up and go to paste so now all the text is back and of course we can go ahead and replace all again and we can um, get rid of the underscores and stuff too. So then that's how you do the solution. We could move this down a little bit so it's like it looks nicer. So that's how you make Sudoku puzzles in Canva. And you can just keep doing it, you know, and do them over and over and have solutions and then have a whole, whole entire bundle of Sudoku puzzles to do. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more ChatGPT, MidJourney, Canva, and Photoshop and more tutorials. Have a great day. Goodbye.